This is Twit. Now, remember the old days when Windows PCs were the ones that really you really had to worry about infecting with malware? Well, those were the good old days, and those days are now over. Now, 2019 was the year of diversification of not only investments, but of sophistication of hacking evasion, and stealth techniques as well. Now, several companies have put out reports seeing similar results, but this is one was actually put out by Malwarebytes around threat detection. Now, let's go through some key takeaways, and I want to bring my co-hosts in to get their thoughts on this. First thing being, there was actually a 13% increase in the amount of threat detection on for businesses. And there was actually a 1% decrease uh, from consumer, which is interesting. Now, in addition to business seeing an increase, the threats have are more sophisticated, many using exploits, credential stealing tools, and multi-stage attacks involving mass infections of a target. While seven of 10 top consumer threat to categories decreased in volume, hack tools increased against consumers by 42% year over year, bolstered by families such as the Mimicats, which is actually targeting businesses as well. Now, organizations were uh, once hammered with the Imitet and TrickBot in 2019. Two Trojan families that started out as simple banker info test stealers then evolved into downloaders and botnets. Now, we've also talked a lot about ransomware uh, and how it's going to actually increase in 2020. However, the funny thing here is, according to the report, as ransomware detections have slightly declined from 2018 into 2020, 19. However, this might be due to lower rate of WannaCry detections left over from 2017. Now, net new ransomware activity against organizations still remains high because ransomware families such as the Ryak, Phobos, and the Sodi No, what's it, Sodi Nokabi, I think is how you pronounce it. It's a really bad name for, for ransomware, but either way, also known as Rebel, making waves against cities, schools, and hospitals. In fact, Ryak detections increased by 543% over Q4 in 2018. Um, and also the uh, Sodi no Kibi, no, our, our rival uh, one, has actually increased 820%. It's a lot. Now, adware aggressiveness has also increased in 2019. Approximately 24 million Windows adware detections and 30 million Mac detections. That's right, 30 million. The top three consumer threat detections belonged to adware families, and the number one business detection was also adware. Now, the number one Mac detection and adware family was called New Tab. Now, that brought in 28 million detections just by itself. Now, Mac threats are also on the rise here, and they have actually taken the front row seat in infections and threats with a 400% increase in 2019. That's right. Just remember, your Mac is no longer safe here. Now, in fact, it's detected on average of 11 threats per Mac endpoint, nearly double the average of 5.8 threats on a Windows device. Very interesting. Now, where in the world is malware being detected? Well, of course, anywhere around the world, but North America was responsible for 48% of those detections, uh, EMEA being in the second place with 26%, and LATAM and Asia being coming in around 20, uh, 12 and 14%. And, of course, some of the other interesting parts here is that um, the most threats in the world at 24 million threats uh, is actually North America, up from 10 up 10% since 2018. But LATAM takes that seat with the most growth of up 7.2 million detection threats uh, and an increase of 26%. Now, there's an interesting thing here um, because adware is one of those things that um, has been kind of on the rise. Remember Microsoft's movement from Edge to the Chromium-based Edge Um uh, the web threats on that front have actually shipped browser developers to rely more on the Chromium platforms, showed an increase of new exploits against today and tomorrow's browser applications, uh, and not just from the aging, dwindling Internet Explorer. Now, meanwhile, web skimmer activity is also on the high uh, with groups like MageCat um, or MageCart aggressively modifying payment process sites to steal financial information. So there's a lot of focus here and a lot of increase. Uh, we thought that in some areas it would be more increased than others. But I do want to throw this over to my co-host because some of the interesting facts here, um, I want to start with you, Chibert. Um, We saw an increase in enterprise focus. Uh, but an interesting part is consumers were actually down 2%, not 1%, as I said. Uh, but businesses were up 13%. What do you think the reason is for the decrease there on the consumer side? I think it's follow the money. Um, <laughs> ransomware for consumers gets you not a whole lot. Ransomware for businesses is where the money's at. So I'd say follow the money. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, uh, Curtis, I want to throw this to you because last year was kind of like 
the year of ransomware, right? We saw a ton of increase of tons of ransomware. But in this report, it's actually saying in some cases, we've actually seen a decrease in detection here. Uh, what gives, you think? Well, I think that what we're seeing is a number of groups deciding to more carefully target their attacks. What we haven't are not seeing so much are the big scattershot ransomware attacks. What we are seeing are targeted attacks against organizations like small to mid-sized municipalities, healthcare organizations, educational institutions, and in at least one ca uh, case, the U.S. Coast Guard. So what they're doing is targeting organizations that have critical infrastructure, a critical need to have data available quickly, and they're doing it with ransom demands that are large but not eye-watering. So what they're trying very hard to do is come in just around the insurance limits of a lot of these organizations, have the uh, organization like a municipality decide that it is far cheaper to have their insurance company pay up and get their data back than it is to go through to the effort of decrypting and possibly not decrypting um, the files themselves. What is unstated in so many of these cases is that the cheapest option still would be simply to have great backup. But, you know, th that's asking a lot, almost asking as much as getting employees not to randomly click on every stray attachment that comes in from an unknown source via email. <laughs> I can tell you that is very hard to do, very hard to do. Chiron, I want to throw this over to you because we we talked a little bit about botnets are actually on the rise. And I think, don't you think this was kind of projected though because of the fact that they just have a greater scale and return on investment here when it comes to hackers? <laughs> no, dude, botnets are horrible. Um, problem is we, we've got all these companies that are putting out um, small devices, IoT devices, and they're using, they're still using really old versions of Linux. They're still not doing a good job of securing their devices. And the consumers are strictly buying on price. They're not going for devices that are actually secure. Sorry, people, you get what you pay for. So there's a reason why I use high-end commercial cameras in my home. There's a reason why I have an enterprise-grade firewall in my home. If you're going to buy cheap, you're going to leave more attack surface for bots. And so I'm sorry, bot traffic, bot attacks are just going to keep increasing because people keep buying really cheap devices that have security like tissue paper. That's true. That is true. Security like tissue paper. I think we have a show title there. Uh, but, you know, you know, one thing that's interesting here that I saw was on the increase is the fact that adware was actually on the increase. And that the interesting thing about that is we know that obviously Google, a lot of these other companies, Google, Facebook, they focus on ads to be able to make their money. And so they have these platforms, especially in the browser, that allow them to collect that data and collect that money, um, uh, you know, both from users and from uh, advertisers. So I, I, I'm not surprised that these types of things are actually being exploited uh, and, and supported on because it's supported on every platform, whether it's Linux, Windows, Mac. Um, and, and, and again, they're just easily exploited because they're being used by the big dogs anyways. So we'll have to see what's, what's going to happen there and how we're going to be better protected, whether it's browser extensions or OS supported things. But we'll have to see.